welcome you to the WB Mason post game. Bob Lorenzo and Jack Curry with you. Middle game of this three game series, and the Orioles prevail four to three. And Jack, this is why this game sometimes is so frustrating or confusing. As you told us on the pregame, outside of John Means, the starters for the Orioles had an ERA of about seven. It means they're very hittable. Yankees couldn't get a hit for six innings and only ended up with three. It's a deflating loss. When you lose a game like this to a very bad team, there's no other way to describe it other than exasperating and depressing because all of these games are precious for the Yankees right now. The Orioles' season is over. They're more than 50 games under 500. They are just playing for pride right now, and in a way, this is their own version of the World Series to try and knock off the Yankees, and that's what they've been able to do. They've beaten the Yankees six times this year. They only, no other team has beaten the Orioles uh, more than four times. So it shows how much the Yankees have struggled against the Orioles. Today, as you mentioned, Bob, didn't get a hit until the seventh inning. But when Joey Gallo goes deep in the eighth inning and he breaks out of his little slide, at least temporarily, the Yankees tie it up. And again, they think they're in good position because Baltimore's bullpen has the worst ERA in the major leagues. But you know what? Baltimore's bullpen has performed well against the Yankees in these two games. And meanwhile, the Yankees trusting Chapman. He was unable to get through that ninth inning, getting nicked for a run, kept searching for his pitches, never really found one that he relied on. And this is a tough loss for the Yankees. They came into today only leading that first wild card by a game and a half.